course. Uh, on the Middle East, it depends what you're talking about. I mean, if, if you take a look at it, well, it's just for simplicity, let's take uh, U.S. politics, uh, most important country in the world. Uh, if you look at the presidential debate on foreign policy, hmm. or you look at the Chuck Hagel hearing on defense, there were two names that came up far more than anything else in the world, uh, Israel and Iran. Uh, Israel, because uh, other countries were kind of mentioned, but marginally. Uh, Israel, because uh, both candidates had to show that they sort of vied for who loved it and worshipped it more. Uh, Iran, because it's the gravest threat to world peace. So those are the two that were discussed. And uh, interesting question is what uh, there are a lot of questions about why, what the U.S.-Israel relationship is. That would be too long to discuss. But the Iran one is quite interesting, uh, very interesting. And what's particularly interesting, it's not getting reported. In the United States, I've checked, not at all. You can tell me whether it's reported here. But let's say Iran's the greatest threat to world peace, okay? You could argue about it, but let's assume that it's true. Uh, what's the threat? The threat is that they might be developing a nuclear capability, which plenty of countries have. Uh, okay, so let's say that's not weapons, but capability. Uh, so what do you do? Let's grant that it's a threat. I might mention, incidentally, that that's a Western obsession. Outside of the United States, uh, England, and a couple of Euro European countries, it's not regarded as much of a threat. Non-aligned countries don't think so. The Arab world doesn't think so. It's a, it's a Western obsession, but let's accept it since we're here. Uh, what do you do about the threat? Well, there's a number of possibilities. There are some technical proposals that could be pursued. Uh, one of them, in fact, was implemented until it was blocked by the West. Uh, in May 2010, uh, Turkey and Brazil uh, made a deal with Iran in which Iran would ship its low-enriched uranium for storage to Turkey, and in return, the nuclear powers would provide Iran with the isotopes that it needs for its medical reactor. Okay, that would end the, end the alleged threat. Uh, what happened when they uh, reached the deal? As soon as they made the deal and ended the gravest threat to world peace, uh, the Obama administration and the media trailing behind, as always, bitterly condemned Turkey and Brazil for breaking ranks. And Obama went off to the UN and tried to get harsher sanctions. Well, the Brazilian foreign minister was a bit annoyed with this, and he released a letter in which it, from Obama to President Lula, the president of Brazil, in which Obama had proposed this, probably assuming that Iran would reject it and win some propaganda points. Uh, then Iran accepted it, so you kill it. Uh, is that a story here? I don't think it was reported the way you've just described okay. it. Okay, no. well, that, that's what happened. I mean, it's not in doubt. Uh, 